Welcome to this simulation class of embedded system. Today we will see how a motor driver which we use in our microcontroller circuits for the purpose of driving motors that is L293D. L293D is a dual motor driver IC and it is usually driven by certain logic at its input and the output is a motor. It is used basically for some robotic applications. In robotic applications where we have two motors, one more motor can be used here because these this half and this half are identical. There are two inverters for this and there are two inverters for this as we see in the block diagram. And this inverter means if this is high, this is low. If this is low, this is high. So once this one terminal becomes high and one terminal becomes low, then only the motor will run. But if both are high or both are low, the motor is not going to run. For example, now if both are zero here, that means both will be high here. The high and high motor will not rotate. You can see this while we do the simulation. This will be showing a zero voltage across this. So now let us go over to little more details about it. So these are the input pins and this is an enable pin. The enable pin, if it is not enabled high, either from the microcontroller command or directly given high, that means this is positive 5 volts, the inverter inside this is inactive. It's not going to work. That means the motor will not work. And this IC, 12 volt supply is for the motor and VCC, which is usually the 5 volt supply is for the microcontroller. Pin connections are like this as it is shown. 1, uh, 4, 5, 12, 13 are grounded. And as I said, this is one section and this is the other section for two motors. We have only shown here only one motor configuration. Now if we go on to simulation, what we will see that you see now the motor is at zero speed, voltage zero and first of all what I will do, I will make the enable pin high. Okay, now the enable pin is made high. High means this becomes red. Once it becomes red, the enable pin is high. Once the enable pin is high, this system starts working, but it, it is still zero, zero here means one, one will be here. Motor is not running. Now the moment I make one of them as one, you see the motor starts rotating at a particular speed and you can see the voltage also here is about 11.1 .1 volts out of the 12 volts which we have supplied. The motor is rotating in this direction. Which is the high point? This is high and this is low as far as the input is concerned. Now supposing I make this also high. What happens? The motor will stop. Because the moment this and this is high, this and this are low, the motor will stop. Now if I make this low, motor rotates in the other direction. So that is how we get clockwise rotation, anti-clockwise rotation, and also stop function separately irrespective of the logic condition. Like for example, when I make this a zero, the motor stops. It is running only when the only when the logic is made high. Or in very advanced situations, what we do, supposing we make it off on off on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, like that, by some arrangement of pulse width modulation, which can also be provided from the microcontroller, the motor speed can also be controlled. So, the driver, motor driver IC, L293D, can be used in various purposes. It can rotate in clockwise, anti-clockwise, and then it can stop, it can result in reduction in speed also. The motors that we will be using in our projects will be not straight DC motors, but they are geared motors so that we get a RPM of about 100 RPM 
or maybe even less which will be very useful for robotic movements in normal speed that is what is the objective if you want two motors to be connected you have to connect simply one more motor here and these three input pins will go to the mm -hmm. microcontroller we have not shown the microcontroller input here uh, the microcontroller output here in fact these controls will be coming from the microcontroller output as per the program written by uh, the uh, and and dumped onto the microcontroller so this is what is the concept thank you